This is Keith Neal, Creative Saint, for a failed experiment. <laughs> and what happened was I ordered these prisms, and um, if you just get, man, if you just get them in the right angle or light, you can kind of get a prism, but it's not really. It just it doesn't show much. I mean, it just really doesn't. But here's the thing: the reason why I'm going to return this. As you can see that, boy, it, and it's sharp too. So it's, you know, it could cut, cut, cut me. And um, this uh, tip is really pointy too. And here's your typical, you know, kind of, um, you know, classroom prism, right? And, um, but this too is just, I mean, it's barely giving me what I, what I'm, I was looking for. I was. I had this imagination that I was gonna be able to use these prisms and aim them, the light, and then be able to kind of splash light on a canvas and then take a photo. That was kind of my my hope. This the reason why I'm showing you this is also a chip here too. And I should have looked at reviews and because um, a lot of people were reporting chips and all that kind of stuff. I, it's, it's kind of a bummer because I really do like this sphere although um this is also another one that's not very um let me see i'm just gonna take a look at this here now that i got the full sun yeah this one just it doesn't reflect so this is not an ideal <laughs> prism for anything um one gal was trying to do a video or she did a video and she had these lights under it and you know like kind of you know ambiance and all that kind of stuff and and that's all well and good. Um, not what I was looking for. So that was kind of a, a feel experiment for me. And thankful that I get to return this um, to a local um, Whole Foods. So um, I'll be doing that today and getting my refund back. And, um, you know, that will go towards whatever, <laughs> whatever else. But um, yeah, it was my hope is I thought that I could do that. I think what I'm going to be doing is looking at investing in um, a <clears throat> like um, well these like little machines where they shoot project light and colors and then we can mix color that way. Um, so I'm going to try and do that. Might actually get in uh, if if I need a prism, then I can buy one that's more up you know more high quality, more um, <clears throat> higher grade, if you will. So that's kind of what's going on with that. Um, I was all excited for it to work and it just, it just didn't do it. So, so that's okay. These things happen. And that's, that's what's part of the journey, right? Is taking you along on my learning journey of what I'm doing with, <clears throat> with art and all the different things that you could possibly dive into. And so, um, I don't know if you saw early, earlier video of how I started and um you just have to experiment if you're if you are naturally an artist or let's say you want to learn to become an artist you're just gonna have to you know make investments make um you know be okay with making mistakes feeling forward <clears throat> getting back up again and just and going and moving forward and doing other things so that's what i've got for you guys so far here on this video is just this is going back to, <laughs> back to the Amazon, and um, and I'm hopeful to get something something in replacement for that because I was going to have some fun, and now I'm just going to more than likely just have to find something <clears throat> that I can do color mixing uh, through lights. I want to do that, but prisms are not going to be the thing for it. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.